Hey y'all, welcome to a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Bob's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. Alright, so we're counting down to Halloween. We're doing Oktoberfest beers. And what I've got today is an Oktoberfest I've never had. It's a Shiner Oktoberfest. Marzen style beer. Um, of course, Shiner, they don't never put the dadgum ABV on their, on their bottles. So, I'm not sure what the ABV on this is. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. It's 5.7. 5.7. Now, uh, the original Shiner Bach, I think, is a 4.7. And I love Shiner Bach. I love it. It's a delicious brew. Um, a lot of people think it's overrated, whatever. I love it. I think it's delicious. The one thing I would say about Shiner Bach is the, uh, it doesn't, the head does not persist at all. Once you pour it off, man, it dissipates really quick. It's super carbonated, but I still love it. Um, it'll be interesting when I pour this one off to see how how fast uh, the head dissipates. So this is a Shiner Oktoberfest, 5.7% ABV. We're going to do on a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Buzz Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. And that's actually a, that's actually a screw off top. I could have screwed that one off. Shiner. crown over there and I come man it's it's about it's a little after 10 o'clock at night I'm doing these well okay <laughs> well I got a little head off of it and much one I don't know whatever anyway got a little head it didn't seem, seem to pour as stiff as I wanted it to but all right Anyway, whatever, Shiner Oktoberfest, one I've never had. Of course, it doesn't have much of a head on it. But it's got the, the, the head has the same flavors as the, the Oktoberfest I've done so far. A nice, rich flavor. Um, the color is about the same beautiful dark amber color beautiful brew and like I said it's about 1030 I'm out here uh, under my gazebo um, I've got lights out here but they're kind of dim so I got I bought one of these one of these super bright lights like you put in your garage or whatever it's like LED and I and I put it I unscrewed one of the light bulbs and put it right there so I've got plenty of light out here I just came out here. I went to get another beer. I come out here and there's a dadgum armadillo. <laughs> armadillo underneath my table, man. I'm like, what the heck? Get out of here. There he is. <laughs> Y'all didn't see him. Yeah, it's too dark. <laughs> right behind me. One of them gray armadillos. And I'm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee, man. When I was a kid, we didn't have armadillos in Tennessee. Uh, anyway, now we got them. <laughs> <laughs> in my yard whatever anyway this uh shiner oktoberfest is for all american workers hey i love and appreciate y'all thank you for the hard work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves and your families pay your own way and support our economy your hard work is important uh, i don't care what your job is i don't care how much you get paid uh, if you work for a living your job is important and I just want to thank you for what you do, um, providing goods and services for your fellow Americans, just like I do. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Man, that's good. Dad gummit. All right, so the head, it didn't have... I, I think I tried to pour it hard, but it didn't really get the head on it that I was expecting. There's that dead gum armadillo behind me. Y'all can't see him, but he, he's right there behind me. He's a gray armadillo. He's right there. <laughs> you hear him rustling around. At least it's not a dead gum werewolf. <laughs> anyway, this, 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 this uh, Shiner Oktoberfest did not have the head 
but it's it's got the lacing. Look at that. It's got nice lacing around it, even though it didn't have much of a head on it. But this stuff is delicious. Um, I like this one. I like this one a little bit better than the the previous two. It's not hardly as rich and robust as the uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest, but it's close. Um, this one is about the same color as the previous two. It's not hardly as dark as the, the, the Sam Adams, but it's good, man. It's got it's got a nice robust flavor. Oh, uh, and the thing about a Shiner Bock that I've noticed, even though uh, the head dissipates quickly, it still has good carbonation in it. Now, I don't see any bubbles floating up through there. Uh, but it doesn't taste flat. It's still got that carbonation in the body of it. And it's delicious. Um, I'd score this one an A uh, because it's just it's an A beer. I, I don't know what, how else to put it. It's got the it's got the maltiness. It's got the uh, the typical Oktoberfest the the festive flavor. It's got it. Um, it and even though the Oktoberfest brews to me seem a little bit heavier. This one does not seem to have the heaviness of some of the other ones I've tried, but it's delicious. It's a very good brew. So if you get a chance to try it, give it a shot. All right, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow for, let's see, today's a wet your whistle Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow for a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday Oktoberfest. I got another one of my Tennessee brews I'm going to do tomorrow that's out of Memphis, Tennessee, and it's an Oktoberfest brew. So y'all stay tuned for that. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Cheers.